In this video, we will build a chat app using Vue.js and Pusher. Before we build the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Vue.js with any of these backend technologies, I provided some links in the description of this video. The backend for this video, it is required. So make sure to complete the backend before watching this video. If you already build a backend, let's start building the app. Now let's create the view app. So uh, make sure to have installed the view CLI and here run view create and I will call uh, the project view chat. So I'll pick uh, the version th 3 preview here and now let's wait till it's completed. So the project is created. I will open it with my IDE. I'm using WebStorm here, but you can use Visual Studio Code. It is the same. Now let's make some changes to this uh, app. I will remove these two folders here, delete them. And this uh, HTML here, this import, this component and uh, the styles. So uh, I removed everything and now let's add the template. So we will use bootstrap. So go to getbootstrap.com, click get started and copy the link for the bootstrap HTML, uh, CSS, sorry. I'll paste it here and uh, we need the template. So go to examples and the template that uh, we will use is in the sidebars here. And uh, I will use uh, this uh, sidebar. So inspect and uh, I'll copy the HTML directly here. So copy and I will paste it here. So let's paste it. Now I will remove all these anchor links and I will keep the first two of them. So till here, I will remove them and I will remove the first ones since uh, the first one has a color that is highlighting. So uh, if we run this up, so npm run serve and go to the browser it will look like this so I will remove this um, blue one so let's remove this also I will wrap everything with uh, another div I will close it and uh, this div will have the class container and also this styles here with uh, the width uh, 380 I will remove it and it will look like this so it is better uh, I will remove this SVG and uh, I'll change this uh, anchor links to just divs because uh, we will not click those so div here same for this div and it will look like this so we have the template now let's uh, make some uh, changes so i will change uh, this span to an input so i'll add here input with the same class and i will remove this and uh, this input, it will have uh, a default value. So we need to add a variable for, for that input. So I will add setup here. And uh, I will import also a ref from view. And now the variable username is equal to ref and the default value will be username and we need to return the username here so we got the value and here we will add the v model for the username and it will look like this so this is an input with a default value of username and uh, now let's uh, add the loop for these uh, messages. So the same as the username, 
I'll create messages, which is equal to ref empty array. And uh, I'll return the messages. And the messages will be looped here. So I will add the v4 message in messages. Also, we need to add the key here, which is the message itself. And uh, we will uh, add here message username. Uh, for the date here, I will remove this. And uh, this is uh, the message itself. So message that message. And uh, that's it. Uh, so we won't be able to see anything because we need to add some messages. And uh, what is left is also to add uh, the form. So we need to add the form here to write a message. And uh, this form will have an input with a class form control. It will look like uh, this. So let's add the placeholder write a message. So it will look like this. Let's add some uh, CSS. So I will add here style again. And uh, I will copy this uh, scroll area here. I will add the style for the scroll area, which is max height 500 pixels. So max, uh, min, sorry, not max. So with this, we'll have uh, a space here where we can uh, write our messages. So uh, now this form here, we need to add also a V model. So we'll create another value variable message by default is empty string, which I will return the message, a V model here for the message. And uh, the form needs to be submitted. So let's create a function submit, which for the moment, it will be empty. Let's return the submit function. And uh, when it is submitted, dot prevent here so the page won't be refreshed, uh, we will call the submit function. So everything is uh, ready now. Uh, we uh, took care of everything. Now what is left is to add pusher. So uh, before we sign in for pusher, make sure to have uh, built the backend. If you haven't built a backend, don't continue because the backend it is required. Now that you have built the backend, let's sign in. Now I logged into my dashboard and uh, you have to create a channel, which is a sandbox, sandbox plan, which is free. I'll go to my channel and uh, click uh, up keys, not here, getting started. And we have the JavaScript version here for the front end. So what will we do is I will copy this uh, code. And in our app, I will add also on mounted here. And when the component is mounted, we need to paste that HTML. So I'll paste it here. We don't have the variable pu pusher here. Uh, we can copy this script, but uh, I prefer a better way, which is I will install pusher.js in my npm. So let's wait till it's completed. Now that it's completed, we'll import pusher from pusher.js and uh, we have pusher so make sure these are your keys i'll 
change this to a constant and this also to a constant. And uh, if you have built a backend, we know that the channel name is chat and uh, the event that we will bind is called message. And I will change this function to this way. And uh, we want to uh, send an alert. So uh, our message that we will get from the event will simply push it to these messages. So to push that, we have to use messages value push data. And that's it. So this is uh, our pusher. And uh, what is left now is uh, to send the event in the submit function. So let's send the event. We will await. So let's make this asynchronous. Await fetch. The endpoint is HTTP localhost port 8000 slash API slash messages. Uh, we need to make the method to a post request. We need to add uh, the headers to content type application JSON. And uh, we will add the body, which will be a JSON stringify and it will be an object where we'll send the username which is a uh, username that value since it is a ref and uh, the value is accessed by the value property and uh, the message which is message that value and uh, if this request is completed, we'll set the message that value to an empty string. And that's it. So we completed our view up and now let's see the uh, result in the browser. Now let's test uh, the app. I'm using two browsers. Here I'm using Chrome and here I'm using Safari. And uh, let's try to write a message. As you can see, it is appearing in both uh, uh, browsers and uh, I can write a message here also. And it does appear here also. So this is uh, the chat app. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.